Okay, so I'm going to make chicken pineapple fried rice today, and for that I'm going to need some rice. So typically I like to use day-old rice when making fried rice, but I don't have any, so I'm going to make some. Today I'm using jasmine rice, but you can definitely use long grain. And since I'm cooking this in my rice cooker, I like to steam at least two cups. I think it just comes out better. But if you're using the stovetop method, one cup of uncooked rice makes enough for this recipe. So right into my little pot here and I'm going to give it a rinse. I like to rinse my rice three times uh, when I'm doing it in the rice cooker. And that's just to rid of most of the starch and that'll in turn keep it together better when I'm frying it. And again, ultimately, if you really do want a really nice texture to your fried rice, almost like the restaurants, you'll want to use day old rice. It Again, it just holds up better. Okay, so once I've rinsed this three times, I am going to fill my water up to the corresponding line. I have two cups of rice, so I'm going to fill it up to the line that indicates two. And then I am going to soak my rice for at least an hour. Now, again, it could all be simple if you have like your favorite way to make rice. Again, if you are more inclined to cook it on the stovetop, do so, that works. Ultimately, you're trying to cook at least one cup of rice to get around three cups of cooked rice, three to four cups. So after letting that soak, I am going to cook this. I'm going to set it on the cook setting and just let it do its thing. I don't know how long this takes because the rice cooker kind of, you know, set it, forget it. So once it's done, I'm going to fluff it up. Now the next step is something that will help you sort of achieve that day old rice texture. So what I do is fluff up the rice and then I'm going to spread it out on an oiled baking sheet and I'm going to spread it out in a single layer. And I'm using oil on here, at least on this baking sheet, because it's stainless steel. And one time I did it and it stuck. The rice really stuck to this, the stainless steel baking sheet and it was not a great outcome for me. So if you're using stainless steel, just oil it, it'll be fine. So I'm going to spread this out into a single layer. Now, what you'll want to do next is let it come to room temperature and then put it in the freezer for around 15 minutes. And then the rice will sort of mimic that day old rice consistency and it'll hold up better when you fry. Okay, so I'm just going to leave my rice here to come to room temperature and cool off. In the meantime, I'm going to work on my pineapple. So here I have an averaged size pineapple and I am going to slice and peel it. And by doing that, I am going to use this really cool kitchen gadget that my aunt gave me. And I don't know what it's called. I'm just gonna say a pineapple corer, I don't know. So what I'm doing here is just pressing firmly down while I twist it. And what it's going to do is just remove the core and also slice the pineapple. And eventually when I hit the bottom, I'm just going to pull this whole thing out and it's basically going to core the pineapple and slice it into rings. It's just a thing of beauty. And I will say, I tried to do this on a pineapple that was not ripe enough, and it was kind of hard to use. So you'll want to work with the ripe pineapple if using this. So once I'm done twisting and hit the bottom, voila, you pull it out and it's sliced and cored. It's pretty cool. So you'll see here at the bottom, I kind of went too far, but I'll have to pull out the core from there. And it's really as easy as that. It was not hard to do. And I think it's very convenient when you're using pineapples. So I'm going to discard the core, but not this juice. I'm going to use this fresh pineapple juice in the marinade for the chicken. Speaking of the chicken, let's start to marinate it. So here I have one pound of chicken breast that I've diced. And that's the pineapple juice there. I've reserved that as well. And that came out to around a third cup of freshly pressed pineapple juice. I don't know. But if you're using canned pineapples, make sure you get the kind that's in its natural juices and use that for the marinade. So I'm also going to be adding two cloves of minced garlic. You can definitely use more garlic if you like. I actually would think maybe three to four because I love garlic, but do what you will. I'm also going to be using two tablespoons of the whites of scallion, and I've just sliced those up. And I will be using two teaspoons of 
fresh ginger and I've minced that. Next, I'm also going to be using one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of mirin, and I will be using a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. You can use black pepper. And that's pretty much what I'll be using for the marinade. So I'm just going to use the same glass container the chicken's in, and I'm just going to pour everything on top of that and give that a good mix. Okay, so now that this is combined, I'm going to cover it with a lid and refrigerate it to allow it to marinate for at least 30 minutes. You can take it for longer if you like. And once my chicken is marinated, I'm ready to start frying the rice. So I am going to be using a half cup of sliced scallion greens, two tablespoons of scallion whites. I'm also using one medium carrot that I've julienned. I'm also going to be adding around a teaspoon and a half of sesame oil and around a teaspoon and a half of dark soy sauce, and you can change the ratios of those to your preference. I'm also going to be using one to one and a half cups of pineapple chunks. Again, you can play around with the ratios of these to suit your preferences. And here is my marinated chicken. Again, this is one pound of diced chicken breast that I've marinated. And again, you can marinate overnight if you like that. I'm also going to be using cooked rice, and this is around three to four cups of cooked rice. Again, if you use one cup of uncooked rice, that is enough to make this recipe. So here I just have my pan. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of oil, and just make sure your pan is nice and hot. If you have a wok, that's even better. And I'm just going to move this oil around, and then I'm going to start stir frying this rice. Now, on a side note, you definitely can add one egg, one or two eggs into this fried rice, but even in my last fried rice video, I excluded it because I have a child that is allergic to egg. He can eat baked egg, like in a cake, but he can't have egg cooked. He, he does have allergies to that. So this is why I exclude egg from my fried rice recipes, but you can definitely add it if that's something that you like. Okay, so once I add my scallion greens and give that a quick saute or fry and toss, my fried rice is done and dinner is ready. This is another simple, easy, one bowl dinner idea. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.